Hi kiddos, it's me Mom Shalen, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester and for today's discussion, it would be about identifying the parts and the graph given the standard form. Alright, so without further ado, let's solve. Our first example and the example number four of our series, we find the parts of the parabola and draw the graph given x squared equals 4y. So first we have to identify what case is it? Is it opening upward, downward, left or right? Let's first identify where our parabola is opening, okay? So we have x squared. That means we are just looking at upward or downward because we have x squared in our given. On left and right because it is y squared. So if we have x squared and x squared for both up and down, let's look at our given again. Is it positive or negative? It's positive, therefore it's opening upward. All right. After that, let's look at the formula for the standard form. It's x squared equals 4py. From our equation, we have to identify the p value okay so for the p value let's solve that together in order this is how you determine the p value from the equation you are given x squared equals 4y first you have to take the numerical coefficient so this is your numerical coefficient 4 we have 4 our next step is to divide it by 4. It's always like that, okay? You always divide by 4. Again, divide by 4. You always divide by 4 because the formula is uh, using 4. Uh, the formula uses 4 as our equation, so as part of the equation. Therefore, we have to divide this by 4 in order to get the p-value. And the final answer for the p-value is now 1. Why is that? Let's look at our presentation here. So we have x squared equals 4 times 1 plus y, which will make our equation true. What do I mean? Ang importante kasi dito, hahanapin mo yung value ng p na magbibigay sa sa'yo na itong equation na to following the form of equation x squared equals 4py. Ibig sabihin, ito yung formula. Ano nyan yung ilalagay mo sa p para maging ganito yung sagot? Ano yung, an, mag, anong mamultiply mo kay 4 para 4 pa rin yung makuha mong sagot? Diba 1? So you have now x squared equals 4, the p value of 1, y. Simplifying this, we have x squared equals 4y, which gives us the original expression. Okay? So, reversing that now, reversing that process, instead of multiplying here, we have to divide in order to get p. Again, in order to get your p value, you have to divide by 4. It's constant na you divide by 4 because the formula uses 4 as the value. Okay, now that we have our p value, let's move on. The p value is 1. Madali na lang to. We just substitute for our f or the focus. We just follow the rules that we have here. f is 0 p. Therefore, the focus is now 0, 1. As simple as that, right? And then after that, we get the directrix y is equal to negative p. Therefore, our directrix is y is equal to negative 1. Just substitute the value of p. So, pag nung common p, wala ka ng problema. Endpoints of the lattice rectum, positive negative 2p, comma p. Substitute the value of p and you'll get positive negative 2, 1. And then, length of the lattice rectum is always 4p. Substitute the value of 1, to p and the length of your lattice rectum here would be four units so that's how easy it is right of course you are given a simple problem let's move on to the next example 
Oh, by the way, yeah, this is a graph. You just use your Desmos in order to arrive at this. So during our synchronous discussion, I will show you how to use your Desmos for this, okay? Next, example number four. We have y squared is equal to negative 8x. Same process. Oh, this is another example, I'm sorry. Not example number four. Hmm. Anyway, uh, the opening would now be oh, y squared naman. So we are looking at whether it's opening to the left or to the right. Since it's negative, then that means that this is opening to the left. Next. We have this formula. Again, what did I tell you about identifying the p-value? To be able to identify the p-value, we just have to get the numerical coefficient and then divide it by 4. So, in our given, our given is y squared equals negative 8x. Get the numerical coefficient, which is 8. So, we have here... 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So our p value is 2. That's it, that's it. It's always like that. And remember, p is always positive. Next, after having your p value, oh, everything will fall into place now. It just substitutes and substitutes all over again. Your focus based on the formula is negative p0, so substitute to negative p0, you'll have negative 2, 0. Next, for the directrix, x is equal to p, substitute for p, x is equal to 2. Next, for the end points of the lattice rectum, negative p plus or minus 2, p, substitute p, and you'll get negative 2 plus or minus 4, or positive negative 4. Last, for the measurement of the lattus rectum, that's 4p. Therefore, it's 4 times 2, which is 8 units. Just like what I told you, the length of the lattus rectum is usually reflected already in the equation. Let's see, and this is now the graph. We have a parabola opening to the left. So, now these are the questions that I want you to think of. How can you easily identify the value of p? What's the shortcut that I told you? You have to divide the numerical coefficient by 4. Now, in your own words, how can you differentiate the equations of parabolas, opening up or down, and the equations of those opening left or right? Okay? So, you just have to think of ways on how to remember these things and what patterns were you able to see or find. So with that, see you on the next video. Thank you so much. I never made it.